Hi everyone and welcome back to Horizon Open Custom Racing. Today I'm joined by the slow journalist, a good friend and the moderator in official Forza Discord servers. And we're gonna be racing in A-Class road racing. I decided to not be original and use the cars I know and already uh, comfortable with, that I know they perform and hey, look what we have in the lobby. So slow journalist decided to drive the Audi despite his Discord nickname being Subaru. How does Subaru drive Audi? That's an interesting one. But we also have a bone shaker and Dart. So Dart is known for immense amount of power and some crazy power builds that have stupid amounts of speed. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case right now. He darted away from the start but doesn't seem to be able to keep up for now at least and the bone shaker is well the bone shaker but uh, again doesn't seem like such an op car as it is, it is usually advertised or a driver is not up to par which may be evident by the way they went through that corner i didn't perform that too well either but the bone shaker went straight into the wall and sayonara mate you are now behind so what do we have on the leaderboard now the slow journalist also passed the bone shaker which kind of tells you that even though the car is not banned from online and probably won't be and is widely considered op you don't actually have to give up if you see a bone shaker in the lobby look he's going third right now uh, pretty far behind now there's quite a long straight and a couple of really fast corners which kind of remove the benefit of my car because even though it's reasonably fast in the straight it's not super fast and you can see my opponents are actually coming closer and closer but these core whoa whoa that's a very optimistic dart uh, that lunge I don't know if that was a ramming attempt or a genuine uh, attempt to catch up and claw some time but that's not how it works if you fly that optimistically go into the corner uh, like that and smash into the wall not only you lose time doing that but there's also a huge penalty uh, invoked on you for wall riding or wall hitting so that's never working well and this is the win in the first race that's uh, quite nice with slow journalists right behind and bone shaker where was the bone shaker third i think let's see if we keep the trend in the next one right the second race of this championship is horizon mexico circuit and i am pretty well accustomed to that track I don't know how many laps I put on it in various cars and classes. It seems to be um, an easy choice for, you know, testing the ride. So, okay, Bone Shaker goes ahead again, but let's see if... No, actually, look, I'm already catching up. I don't think... Yeah, um, as you can see, the Bone Shaker is not the solution to every question we are already ahead uh, just by having a little bit of a better line i think the guy is struggling a little bit making the corners uh, but that's fine maybe that's the tune that is set for maximum straight line speed but uh, difficulty in the corners i don't know and slow journalist is again right behind me which is the way it's intended to be to be honest uh, well or oh, i am right behind him we are generally very close in the pace uh, we are fighting each other's rival times and usually are very close to each other which is um, sometimes a pain because he manages to choose the cars that i can't drive uh, he has this on this circuit i believe also in a class he has the time with the uh, Volkswagen Golf which I took took his tune exactly same with uh, which he put the time and I can't come closer than half a second to his time no matter what I do but eventually I got into this pati uh, particular Elise I believe uh, and then managed to beat that uh, 
Volkswagen time by two tenths. Go figure. Um, obviously, the, we have still somewhat different driving styles, which make each of us a bit faster in different cars. And uh, I don't know if he's too happy with the choice of his Audi RS6. It's a really powerful car. I think he uh, took a tune with a V10 in it, which makes it really fast, but really heavy and really difficult to tuck into the corner which I believe is what he's paying for on this circuit where one corner flows into another and actually maintaining the flow without losing much speed is key to setting a reasonable time. Can't claim to have uh, you know anything close to really good time on uh, HMC but overall uh, you know I am just somewhere above the average racer I guess not anywhere near the aliens that set the world records and stuff like that but I think I can drive it reasonably well and uh, reasonably fast and that's the benefit of this uh, Elise 99 because it's a very very uh, competitive car in terms of making it through the corners but what the hell <laughs> have you seen that we had a guy going the opposite way um, Towards us. I don't know if that's uh, again some weird attempt to ruin someone's uh, race or he just figured out he's not uh, being competitive and just having some fun which is uh, what Forza is all about really. Uh, whatever you do as long as you don't ruin the fun for others uh, and having fun yourself that's great. So another win for me seems to be a lucky strike. It didn't go that well on the warm-up uh, race that we did together with Slow Journalist, but yeah, works for me now. Race number three, the last one in this championship is Riviera Sprint. So obviously the car compositions are all the same. The uh, We didn't get many additional people, there's a few, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that the lobby is... Uh, as kind of empty uh, as it is well it's not empty but you know what we didn't get any new people for uh, four participants uh, with 12 being maximum you know four is a little bit t on the low side and you can see slow journalist flying out using the power of his v10 in this audi R rs6 and yeah can't make the corner though so sayonara mate you should have driven Subaru, really? <laughs> now, when he sees that, he gonna uh, send me a message. Ah, you bully Quadro, but uh, it's okay. Uh, he's right behind me though, so I can't really relax. The, the, the thing with the close racing is, uh, you can be, you know, faster by a couple of tenths, but one mistake and it's all gone. A single touch of the wall or... Uh, a single missed corner. I'm not even talking about missing checkpoint. That usually is a setback that throws you all the way behind and uh, with no hope to recover. Uh, but just doing it badly enough, uh, a single corner can change your chances from uh, what looks like an easy win to irrecoverable damage. So I need to somewhat concentrate on the driving here keeping journalist behind so there's a straight and again uh, see the power of that car uh, as, as long as you can reasonably put it into the corner that's a huge advantage and I think that's exactly what the, the guy in the dart uh, tried to do but I think he quit at some point because what or or not I'm not sure uh, who quit I think the bone shaker quit Bone Shaker couldn't take it that he's not able to win in the OP car against one Lotus and one Audi. There you go. So, okay. Now I went way too wide in this corner, giving him the opportunity to overtake. So, uh, But there's still a little bit of time left before the end of the race, uh, full of corners. So I'm going to try to catch up. But hey, it feels good. It's the first proper fight for me versus uh, somebody driving bone shaker and considering they quit 
from the last race after losing the two. Uh, the first two uh, points me, or makes me think or assume, yeah, just yes, uh, makes me assume that they expected an easy win because hey, I'm driving the bone shaker. No, not today, mate. Not today. And whoa, last second overtake. Well, not last second, but uh, close to that. And it looks like this championship is mine. I'm not as hopeless as uh, I might have thought before. With slow journalists right behind me again, and the same position in championship. We'll do another one just now. Uh, so let's continue the video past this point. Right, the next championship, another three races, Sierra Verde Sprint. I swapped a car uh, back to the Ford GT40 and in the meantime, Slow Journalist swapped his car to Elise. Uh, I should have stayed with Elise then because, uh, you know, try... Well, I'm, I'm not sure what that guy was doing, but he's clearly not racing. Uh, it's the same guy, I think, that was going the opposite way on HMC, so, I mean, he... He has his own kind of fun, but uh, uh, you don't need to warm tires like in Formula 1 on the formation lap because uh, we are just driving. Anyway, so I think it would be cool to have two releases and measure in the same car, even though we would probably drive different tunes between me and Slow Journalist. But uh, I'm playing a little bit of a catch-up here in the beginning of this race. Just need to nicely pass this guy uh, in Audi. Uh, because we don't want anything dirty happening on the track. Oh, okay, so a very brief penalty for me it didn't even uh, pop up on the screen, but it definitely happened. So you, you could see my car ghosting and I slowed down quite considerably, which probably means I'm not catching up. There's, uh, there's quite a distance between us now, between me and Slow Journalist, and I'm gonna need him to mess it up pretty badly uh, to the point of probably, well, not necessarily missing a checkpoint, but really flying out of the corner or locking his tires up for me to catch up. And ah, uh, instead, I continue to make mistakes one after. Oh no! <laughs> I I was so desperately downshifting to slow down that I overdid that and went all the way into reverse, which is not something you should do in the race. Well, um, actually, basically, if you get to do a reverse gear uh, during the race, your race is toast. So now all the chances of catching up are gone. I am very lucky that I haven't been overtaken by the two guys behind despite going uh, in reverse gear funny never happened to me before I don't think I ever uh, managed to over downshift to the point of going uh, going in reverse so that's kind of funny moment I will have to settle for second place in the race which is not bad and I'm losing to a good friend so that's also the way it should be so coming up to the finish. The, overall, the benefit of racing with friends is it removes any tension. You know, you you win or lose, you still have a good time. The occasional ramming or crashing into each other is also seen via completely different perspective. You don't get angry uh, right away. You don't shout at people. So it's a pleasant experience all around. Let's see how other two races go. I need to catch up. Okay, Reservorio sprint. So, uh, this sprint is interesting because it has a very long, super fast stride in the beginning, and we have some new joiners. This Supra took off really slow from the start. Uh, so, interesting. Oh, wow, that's that Supra. Is it a, is the drag build? Uh, Wow, he was so slow off the line, but obviously now I'm not sure how much he's, uh, how fast he's going. Uh, 200 miles an hour, probably. 
I don't know. But how's he? Can he turn? Let's uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, he somehow went through this corner. I half expected to find him in the wall there. You know. Oh, okay. I messed it up. Tried to nicely overtake, but yeah, it didn't go to the plan. Chipped the wall a little bit. Went through the lightning pole. Okay. Slow generalist has a bit of a fight here. So let's try to use that. Oops. Okay, I back off. Right, so uh, I think I hit the guy or at least... Sorry, just need to be careful here. Right, uh, so at that moment I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't smash me into the wall, man. Um, there was a little bit of a commotion between us and at some point I thought that uh, I wasn't nice so I backed off but a uh, few actions in the subsequent corners kind of made me think alright I'm not backing off anymore so we had a little bit of a fight with somewhat more contact than I want but actually what I want is to catch this Supra which seems to work fine so he seems to have really low speed at the low rev range in lower gears but then massive straight line speed and almost no cornering so I'm pretty sure that Supra is built for drag um, and uh, look at it, it actually almost worked for him 90% into the race he's still directly behind and I only overtook him at what 85% mark so another 30 seconds of delay or a little bit more of the fight between us um, at the back and he would have it definitely despite uh, suboptimal uh, build for racing but I don't like extreme uh, builds I don't like power builds or uh, drag builds because I prefer the car to be manageable and stable okay next Tierra Prospera circuit let's go Ooh. off we go from the line starting last and the Supra is I don't think Supra with a uh, with a drug build has a chance here uh, a little bit sliding you've seen the skid marks on the tarmac which means I lost a lot of time and speed which allowed the slow journalist to go ahead now let's see who comes out of this fight at the top I think I've been a little bit lucky in the previous race because he lost a ton of time uh, fighting the other guy and I'm not sure what happened afterwards because he finished uh, much lower in terms of positions but for now, look, uh, we, I think I'm going to get him now. Come on, this corner. A little bit of a later breaking while still maintaining the line. And I am ahead. Let's see how, if he manages to catch up. It looks like, again, uh, in different cars, we have different areas of the track where my car performs better in one place, but his car has advantage in another. So, and he's right on my rear bumper and I just need to do it clean and nice not do any significant mistakes uh, like slowing down too much into this corner bloody hell okay still ahead though so <clears throat> second lap one more lap to go just need to keep him at the back right there so there's an attack a little bit too aggressive I'm, I'm not sure if I just lost it or no I, I'm pretty sure he punched me in the rear and tried to send me into the wall but that's a friendly one at the very least it's a uh, it's just an honest mistake of which there's plenty but I managed to stay ahead which is quite cool don't plan to give him another chance like that so I noticed that uh, in this section I'm actually pulling out quite a bit and uh, you can see so I'm able to go through these corners a little bit faster than he's at least 
and then a few other sections on the track where this is the case but this area I just can't do it too well for some reason today no not too bad not too bad again uh, the gap uh, gets back what I'm missing from uh, Forza Horizon online racing is uh, the gap the interval displays um, the number of seconds or tenth of a second somebody is behind this is uh, having to rely on the map to see where that uh, their car indicator is on the map is not enough I would rather have sector times and uh, X amount of seconds or tenth of a second behind that would be much better but we're coming to the end of the last race and I managed to hold it on this one which means I'm gonna take the championship again this time I think it's time to uh, wrap this up uh, enough for one day that was cool racing and thank you slow journalists for joining me today and for all the viewers I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one